All right, let's go ahead and turn the camera on. Single click turns it on. Click and hold turns it off. All right, we have our image there. So let's start out with the basic settings. I'm gonna go into menu, which is the button down here. And I have here metadata, which is information about my shot. Settings. So right here is a format card. We don't have a card in here presently. And that's what we'd use to clear it off. This is the focus peaking. We can activate that uh, while we're in our shooting mode. Meters, same thing there. And, uh, and then if we want frame guides. So let's go back up to settings here and we'll look at the others um, in just a moment. All right, so here's our basic settings. Now you can uh, scroll through here, setting the date and time and so forth. Now it's a rather awkward layout uh, because in order to get down to the ISO, white balance, and um, which are the two that you'll use most, uh, you have to scroll through all of this other stuff, which can really be a pain. So I use my menu button to get back out to the uh, left menu there. And then what we can see is that once I go over using my right arrow, then I can actually just go up to get these, and that's a faster way uh, to get there. So we select our ISO. You can do it by selecting, uh, pushing right or left. White balance, same thing. And this goes in increments. Now your shutter angle, you're usually gonna leave at uh, 180 degrees, uh, which will give you the most cinematic look. All right, I'm done with that menu, so I'm going to hit my menu button. That gets me back out. Here's my microphone inputs. Uh, they're all set to 50% right now. If you are gonna use this for sound, then you can tweak these to get uh, levels. Otherwise, just for reference audio, this uh, will probably suffice. Recording format. So you have some choices here. Let's start with the lowest resolution, ProRes Proxy. For this one, you're not really going to use to shoot with. It's for use with certain editing procedures. ProRes LT, this is a lighter version of ProRes, and this will work with our uh, 45 megabit cards. ProRes 422, this is the regular 422 standard. ProRes HQ, high quality, higher bit rate, and finally RAW. Now you have two options for dynamic range, film or video. Film allows you the full dynamic range uh, that the camera offers, and you almost always want to shoot in film, unless you just need some quick run and gun stuff uh, that you don't want to tweak later. Because film, you're always gonna have to come back. This shoots in a log format. You'll always have to uh, either apply a LUT or do color grading. Frame rate, generally you'll always leave this at 2398, and this one is for doing time lapse. All right, let's go down to our display. Now you have a choice on the display, whether you want to see the image in film or video. We'll take a look at uh, the difference there. Now the great thing about this is that you can see it with the contrast and color that the video option provides while still shooting in the film setting. So you can see here that I've got the display setting on video, but the recording setting on film. Brightness, I have this all the way up right now for the purposes of this video. Um, you can uh, tone that down a little bit depending on your shooting situation and to save battery. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it up uh, for right now. Zebra, this will allow you a percentage. Once uh, exposure values get above, in this case, 85%, 90%, 95%, then you'll see a zebra stripe on those, uh, letting you know that they've reached that threshold. Uh, so we're gonna leave these off for them. And that's pretty much the menu. It's very simple. It's just set up for digital cinema. It doesn't do anything else. Um, and so it's fairly straightforward. And 90% of the time, you're gonna be doing these ones right here, just your ISO and your white balance uh, to accommodate different uh, shooting situations. All right, I'm gonna get back out of the menu. And these simply toggle on or off. Meters on or off, frame guides on and off, and so forth but I'm gonna show you how to get these. So here we have our scene, and we have a few different uh, buttons up here. We have the iris button, which actually is not uh, going to work with the lens that we have. Pushing it will bring up the, um, our meters. You have our sound meter there, 
and our uh, histogram here. We'll look at those more in just a moment. Uh, but this will not automatically set the iris as it will with some lenses. As we have a cine lens on the camera right now, then we will be setting the iris manually. So I'm going to use the arrow keys. I can bring our meters up or down. As you can see when I turn those, uh, as you can see when I bring those up, then in the menu setting, uh, you can also see that the meter indicator is on there. So this is how I will be determining my exposure. If you watch the histogram here, I can see um, everything that's falling within the uh, range of exposure. So as long as it's in there, I'll have something to work with. And then from there, I can see how it compresses over to one side or falls off on the other. So I'll find the image that I want. But I'm always looking at this histogram um, in order to make sure that I'm exposing correctly. Pressing the focus button brings up the focus peaking. Once again, this is the same option that we can turn on all the time in uh, the menu options. And what you'll see here is that I move my focus through the scene, that those parts of the image that are in focus will light up with the bright green. Moving through, I can see that my main subject is now in focus. And there's my background. This is a good way to get focus quickly. Hitting the focus button again turns it off. I also have a second option for focus. I can hit the OK button twice quickly. As you can see, hitting it once brings up the metadata screen. So you've got to hit it really fast twice. And this gives me a zoom in. I can then get the focus that I want. And zoom back out. And those are pretty much all the buttons. That's the entire interface. So I have other information up along the top. That'll be my recording. And that's the format I'm recording in. There's my frame rate and my uh, battery levels over here. Now one thing to bear in mind is that when you're using the uh, Switronics battery, then you will get a 0% up here. It won't read it as it's a third party battery. So you just have to gauge that manually and charge it occasionally. There's a few buttons on the top. Your record button is the black one with the red dot. And then you have a play button with uh, search buttons on either side.